Hey there folks, today's video is brought to you by Aorus UK and Crucial Memory. There will be links in the description below. Hey there guys, it's me the Tactical Brit, and I think it's been around about five years maybe since I've made a major update to my actual setup that I use on a day-to-day -day basis to make videos, live streams, and play games in general. Um, the last major update I think I made was buying a PS4 Pro, which in the grand scheme of things, um, as somebody who edits the live streams and does everything in between, isn't that huge. Now today, that's gonna to change because we're gonna turn this dumpster fire of a desk and room around me into something a little bit more special. Now this video today is brought to you by the guys over at Aorus UK who have supplied some of the parts that you're going to see in this build um, and in this overall redesign of everything that's happening. So a huge shout out to them uh, for making this possible. Um, it's really great to have them on the channel and you're gonna see a bit more of them in the future as well as things go on. But let's get into turning this bit into something a bit more special because at the moment, as you can probably see, it's not the best of places right now. What is up folks, it's me the Tactical Brit, and uh, yeah, this is my current gaming setup, I know. Look how, look how messy and uh, organized, organized, it's, it's incredible. But uh, yeah, today this is my current gaming setup and we are doing the ultimate renovation on this setup. This will be a brand new specimen and a brand new build. Um, we have the beginning of some incredible little computer parts starting to arrive. Uh, the rest of them will be here shortly, so with the magic of editing, you'll start seeing it come together. But in general, we're just looking at, you know, mixing up this entire setup, uh, changing a few things, fixing a few things, making things look better. Um, I felt like, you know, I deserve to put some investment into a new setup and uh, get things kind of right and get things changed. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Now, some of this stuff is gonna be staying. Um, for example, this Asteroid 40 headset is perfect. Love it, wouldn't change it for the world. Um, the mix amp as well, the PlayStation 4 Pro. I am a big fan of the Orion G810 Logitech keyboard. That's all gonna be staying. However, it does indeed need some TLC because I don't know if you can see this, but Christ almighty is that dusty. That is a little bit bad to say the least. Uh, we of course have the Elgato HD60 capture card in the back, uh, the Logitech camera, I think that's a C920. So all of that stuff's gonna be staying. Um, definitely this main monitor here, this is only a, a 1080p 60 hertz monitor, uh, but it's a really nice one. It's just gonna be a backup. There will be a brand new monitor as you can probably see from looking in the corner over there, which is going to be glorious and fabulous. Um, but yeah, we, we do need a new monitor and this will be the secondary backup boy and my current secondary backup boy will find a new home elsewhere um, Hopefully somewhere nice who cleans him regularly Now on to the big one the big PC, you know, this is the most important thing about this build that is changing um, This is my old school one of my first builds actually, you know I built quite a few over time, but this is one of my first builds uh, and this was an NZXT H440 build. Um, for some reason, I was really into black and red. Uh, now this build is gonna be all black just because I'm kind of looking to be able to diversify my colors in terms of RGB and stuff like that. But inside this, we have a 4790K, which was overclocked to like 4.8 or something uh, gigahertz, so a pretty powerful processor. Uh, we have an RTX 2070 in there at the moment, which was a recent addition from the guys over at NVIDIA UK, so a big shout out to them. Uh, we have an ASUS Z97A motherboard and 16 gigs of RAM from Corsair. And of course we have the H110, I believe, the H110 uh, original Corsair cooler back in the day, an AIO, all of this wonderfully strung together with some NZXT cooling and stuff. 
Um, but this is all going to change. We're going to get brand new processor, brand new motherboard, brand new RAM, brand new monitor, brand new everything. The graphics card is also being upgraded. Uh, we will be going from a 2070 to a 2080 Ti. We also have lots of storage inside of this bad boy. Um, we're going to keep some of the SSDs from there, but the hard drives themselves are going. Um, this is going to be a purely silent build, so I don't want any mechanical drives whatsoever. But yeah, that's about it. So we're going to keep the vertical mount as well, the vertical monitor mount, just because all of these gaming monitors these days have some of the ugliest stands going. But yeah, this is going to change radically. And uh, let's get underway. All right, boys, it is time to make the build. Everything has been unpacked and deconstructed. That's a monitor that's going away. Crap ton of cables that I'm not gonna talk about because that is borderline a human hate crime. Um, and then just over here on the bed, we've got like all the leftover stuff that I had before, stuff that we're keeping, PS4 Pro, keyboards, Astro, HD60, all of that good stuff, microphones, blah, blah, blah. And then over here, alongside my wonderful cardboard grounding uh, thing, alongside a strap, make sure you get yourself an anti-wrap, static uh, wrist strap. Um, alongside over here, we have the EVGA 750GQ. It's a 750 watt semi-modular power supply. Uh, it's 80 gold plus rated, uh, which is great because it means it's gonna be pretty power consumption, um, especially when you're overclocking an i9 9900K, you're gonna need as much power draw as humanly possible, but also something that's efficient. So that's great. For the case, we've gone with the Be Quiet Dark Base 700. Um, I wanted something that was quite simplistic with a tinted window. I didn't want anything that was too flashy. I'd rather let the internals do that. Um, and this features a silent wings case, uh, airflow control, noise insulation, and a multicolor LED strip down the side, which you'll see later. Really great case, highly recommend it. Um, the alternative to this was gonna be the Lian Li PC-011, um, OC-11 even, but that case just seemed like too much effort. Lots of messing around had to do. Uh, we got some thermal compound here. This is the E1 Essential Thermal Compound from Cooler Master, which is great. Um, over here, we've got all of our tools. We've got the anti-static mat, um, connections and stuff. We've got, of course, a little toolkit, magnetic, make sure you have one of those. We have our Windows 10 installation media. Uh, we've got the overall cable tie set up, but this actually has uh, Velcro straps inside, but I got a few just to be safe. Um, and then over here, we have the big boys. So starting off, we've got the RTX 2070. This is going to be upgraded to a 2080 Ti when I go to EA Play. Uh, I've got one there waiting for collection, so that's basically just here for the sake of being here. But under that, we have the Aorus Z9390 Ultra. This is a motherboard by the guys over at Gigabyte. A uh, huge shout out to those guys for sending me that. And in fact, also a huge shout out to NVIDIA for sending me the 2070 uh, a little while ago. But the Z390 Ultra is going to be super important because we're overclocking this. An i9-9900K to five gigahertz. Um, that's gonna be challenging to do without the right kind of board, without the right kind of heat dissipation. And Aorus have been really well known recently for making some fantastic boards for overclocking, uh, especially in terms of heat dissipation, which is exactly why we've got it. They've also sent over an Aorus 16 gigabyte RGB memory set. These things are absolutely bloody stunning. Uh, we're gonna be using those today. Um, they are running at 3200 NHZ, but I don't really think I'm gonna need more than that. I might get another 16 gig set uh, to make it 32 in a while, but in my opinion at the moment, anything above 16 is a bit overkill. And then for the cooling solutions, we've gone for the H115i Platinum Edition from Corsair. These guys do really good jobs at uh, keeping everything cool. I'm not really sure what kind of configuration I'm gonna be doing yet, whether it'll be push-pull, whether um, I'm gonna mess around with where the fans are going and blah, blah, blah. Uh, but at the moment, this sort of basic setup seems to be the way forward with the fans pulling air out of the case and the front fans pulling things in. We'll see how that goes. I'll have a look. I might rejig it as we go along. And then we have some memory. We've got, well, memory in terms of hard drive memory, but the crucial uh, 2.5 inch solid state drive. This is, I think, a BX500. I also have an MX500 laying around somewhere. And the crucial 500 gigabyte MX500 M.2 SSD. This was really thankful. Thank you to the guys over at Crucial for sending me these. Um, this was from a review ages ago that I did for a company, uh, but this they've sent quite recently. So huge shout out to those guys. You'll probably see some more of them on the channel. 
And then of course, the piece de... I'm trying not to do a Linus Tech Tips here and drop this shit. Uh, the piece de resistance or some shit. I failed French, but here we go. Um, the i9-9900K, this is going to be a monster CPU. It's going to be perfect for me because, of course, I do editing, streaming, and all sorts. Um, I don't just play video games because if you did just do video games, the i7-9700K would probably be a better fit for you. Over here, we have the G513 Carbon from Logitech. Uh, the guys over at EA actually gave me that, but um, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna be using that or the G810 uh, Orion keyboard that I already have. And of course, the other accessories that are over in that general direction. But yeah, let's get into this bad boy build and hopefully things go pretty well. All right, so we finally have the um, motherboard and RAM is all installed. Um, as you can see here, the i9-9900K as well is installed. And I gotta say, uh, this motherboard that's been sent out, including the RAM by these guys over at Aorus, is absolutely insane. I mean, this is probably one of the best looking motherboard RAM combos I've seen, not to mention the fact that all of this is going to RGB light up too. So, you know, this is, this is insane from these guys. It looks fantastic, the processor looks great sitting in there. And uh, yeah, let's carry on. Finally, we have a Meaty Boy system. This is completely done now. Um, yeah, it went pretty well, I gotta say. We've got nice fans, nice RGB. Probably gonna turn off the RTX logo, cause green. Uh, but yeah, as far as things are going here, we got incredible temperatures with an i9. Uh, this isn't overclocked yet, but even just idle, we're looking at 20 Celsius, which is pretty damn good. Um, the only issue I ran into with this build on the whole uh, was a little issue with one of the M.2 screws that sheared off so I couldn't actually get the M.2 SSD out. I'd made the mistake of presuming that they were all SATA, PCIe and all of the above uh, as well as NVMe but one of the slots wasn't and ironically that was the one I used. So I'm waiting on a small set of pliers to um, get it out. It's nothing too difficult, you just have to wrap. Uh, a little bit of like rubber band or something around the actual screw slot and just slowly twist it out. Um, but yeah, that's not ideal, but it's it's a very small problem in an otherwise really good build. So yeah, everything has gone fantastically here. So uh, I'm gonna get all of this mess. So much of it, so much mess. Um, all of this out of the way and uh, try and get a final build going. And finally, here it is, in all of its fine and wonderful glory. Um, the monitor's just been set up to 144 hertz. We're gonna finally brush this thing up and uh, make it look all pretty.